everybody. My name is David, or Black Skills. Um, I'm part of the Artist Relationship Management team of the Bogof. And we're here at the Hilton today um, for the spilled edition of the Bogof. Uh, the premiere of this film, an amazing film. I won't spill the beans really, but I'll just give you a tidbit. Um, it's about a protagonist, of course, uh, who a lot of things are going wrong in his life. Yeah. That's all I'm telling you. Come through and watch it. Um, it's going to be amazing, the only guys who are coming in. And um, I'm glad to be part of this thing as part of the management of the book. Seeing as it's one of the reasons why we started the book. Um, about one and a half years ago, August 2011, around there. Um, just so as to promote a lot of local talent, whether it's fine art, performance art, or even film. Um, and I'm honestly very proud to be associated with this. So, Enjoy this. Come back. So what you're going to give me next week? No. I may not even have a place to sleep next week. I could hire the next dark off the street if I wanted to. So quit and use your back pay or go home and come back. Not ask you this again. Where's my money? Stupid.
Okay, um, at this point, I'd like to call the man of the hour, uh, the one and only, give it up to Tony Cars! Constructive criticism, if you'd like to just give a kudos, ask a question or two why you are not cast. <laughs> this is your chance. But right now, Tony. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Okay, okay now. Thank you. So, this is the part where I think very, very, very many people that you probably do not know, but they're really after. Okay, so bear with me. Okay, so first of all, this whole thing started almost a year ago when uh, I was unemployed and I had nothing. I had na literally nothing except my ability to write. So I wrote. And uh, by the grace of God, and yeah, it could only have been God because to be able to raise uh, the amount it takes to make any sort of production is incredible. This cost about 200,000, I know. And that could only have been raised by God. So for that, I just want to say thank you. Thank uh, Wesley and Sandra over here. This lady has spent so many nights just staying awake, hours and hours and hours. And then, uh, she was the first person I approached when I had the idea for the film, and she was the first one to come on board. You're a great friend, Wesley. Thank you very much. And Mr. Ian Kedenji over here, our director. For the incredible, incredible patience of Zindua Limited, uh, led by the one and only Mr. Ken Olo, who is our director of photography and of our film producer. And uh, Kim and Emmy have been so gracious to us, and we really could not have done this without them. Okay, then for the very, very, very many people who have supported us in various ways, uh, first of all, the one, we raised most of the money for this through crowdsourcing which means you put it up online and you ask people for money. And there are very many of you here. And I can't thank you, each, each of you individually, but I just want to say thank you. Your names are in the credits, so if you saw those guys, they're the ones. Thank you so, so very much. Who shall you put on Thank you, thank you very much. For the ones who just were there for us when we thought this thing was never going to happen. There are so many of you here as well. Also cannot be named. For my family and all our family, actually, Friends, thank you as well. And then for the incredible cast led by Mr. Atapan Jordan. And for you as well for coming out. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And that is it. This is this is practice for my Oscar speech. This might not get it, but get me an Oscar someday. So we're gonna have an interactive Q and A. It's common knowledge that people always sit down and I'm like, I don't have anything to say. And then after two, three people, they're like, here I may have something intelligent to say. So <laughs> raise your hands now, forever hold your peace because we are timekeepers. Okay, you wave your hand um, high now. Uh, if you have a question, you just want to give a kudos. This is the time. Um, I can come to where you are. Can come to where I am. So good. Can do the walk of shame. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. My name is Koa. 
I like the feeling very much. I start with good things. Camera work is very good. Uh, very good from a few uh, soft shots here and there, which I had an issue with. Um, the scenes are very vivid, and I think they are very engaging, and I think this is done by the director. Uh, the director has done a fantastic job giving direction and pushing, especially the young lady that was there vomiting, I don't know from what illness. Um, actors and actresses, I, I know I know Jora, he did a marvelous work. I think it was just fantastic seeing you running around the corridors and, and trying to dodge the, the guy that is collecting rent. That was amazing. Uh, on to other things, the storyline. I have a great issue with that. Uh, I don't know whether it is a story about a typical Kenyan boss taking advantage of a faithful worker with a sister suffering from a terminal illness that I do not know about. Uh, I do not know what is ailing Mercy. I think we should have been told, even in one line. What job is the guy doing? The lady seems to be having a lot of money but is not paying Jora. I don't know why. You know? And, and then again, or if, if that's not the story, then is it about crooks in the high security Kenyan prison? Coming, coming out and conning the rest of us? I don't know. Uh, and what the heck is going on in that prison? <laughs> what is really going on in that prison? I don't know. I need to be told as somebody, uh, who are they texting, for example? Uh, who is being murdered and why? You know. So my thought is that it stands, uh, we are, um, I think I was watching two stories in one. You know, There is an absolutely nothing time, the prison story, with the other life going out there. There is nothing. It is disjointed as it looks, you know? So I think, uh, so, so my thoughts are this. I think the writer who saw Rose should have pursued either one, one line of the story, which is the prison agenda. He should have told us more about it or abandoned it altogether and pursued the dude with a dying sister and told us more about it. But I want to say that it's more than a Nigerian movie. It is so good, it's so well done. And I think for as a first, this is, this is, this is, this is something good. And, and, and noting the budget that was used for, uh, that was used in building the story and doing it, I think it's a fantastic job. You have to go to the drawing board, make a few tweaks here and there, it's gonna be a marvelous story. Thank you very much. Um, I'm just gonna give um, Tony a chance to respond to my comment. Okay. Um, that's an interesting <laughs> Thank you for your <laughs> uh, well, the, let me let, I won't try and defend the story, but uh, maybe I can clarify something. Uh, the prisoners were texting uh, uh, Safan, whose, whose, whose character was G. So that was the link. They were trying to extort money from him. And the idea was to create a reason why G would actually respond to these people. Uh, maybe, maybe the let me explain how, how this, I got the idea for this. I was actually, one day I just, in my unemployed phase, I asked, I just prayed and asked God for a story. And then the next day, I got a text, just like the one he received for, you have won 100,000 shillings from Bundy's margarine or whatever. <laughs> and I wondered to myself, who was the guy behind this? And what kind of situation would someone have to be in where they would actually buy this? Because I assume that you know, most of us are intelligent enough to, no, understand that this thing is a hoax. But how desperate must you have to, must you be to be to actually to, to actually respond to this? So that was what was going on. Hope that helps. All right. Um, in the talking core, I didn't understand dream girls either. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Beyonce acting? I kept asking. <laughs> but it's okay. Um, quick announcement. If you uh, KAW407N, all your lights have been left on. <laughs> Chances are your car will remain here if you don't turn them off. Next question, comment. Yes, um, please raise your hands. I'll do the work with you. There we go. For me, I think the one thing that stood out for me about the movie is that I think it's one of the first features, a local features, to actually have been crowdfunded. Is that right? And I just thought, I just thought it's something we want to acknowledge. Because you guys 
things like we all have day jobs and so you have a movie that you want out in four months and then it takes ten months because at the same time that things are kicking in for you, they're kicking in for your boss, but your boss is paying you, so you have to find um, different times to, to work on it and whatever. And general, then if we're all working, trying to link our schedules because we'll be working on Monday and then Mondays when I want to work and some people, he's out of town on the weekends and it was crazy. Um, as an editor, uh, some challenges, yeah, when everyone else is done and so they're all feeling so happy about having finished and you're up alone, sleepless nights and, you know, no one really, like, they're just like, yeah, just fix it. No, oh, no, we didn't, just fix it, just, just, you know, like, just put some sound under it or something, so those are some of the things that, that we faced. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Omagai. I think for me, um, I just want to uh, comment, um, amazing film. Um, the editing and the, and the, the audio <coughs> um, could, um, could have done with a bit more work, um, but I mean, it was, it was rescued by um, uh, the main actors um, at the point. I think it was just, I mean, it was just fantastic. And if there's anything, I mean, if there's anything I can do to, you know, help market the film, I do. You can start by paying a few bills. I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> since you up and everything. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yo, yeah. <laughs> I think for the film, what I like uh, about it, because this is the first time I'm watching it, you know, I, I've watched the trailer over and over and over again, trying to fit in the other scenes that we did, uh, but now I've seen it. <laughs> um, I think we definitely need to take it out there so that people can see it. Uh, uh, but we have to start from a place like what Wamadai has said. Um, I'm going to I'm going to mention about another movie that's not here. Uh, it will be Half Life. Of, of course, you have watched it. I have made four people watch it. will be Half Life. It's because I went, I watched it, I believed it, and I think it's a story that ought to be told. So you have watched, uh, you've seen it, you've believed it. You need to go and tell four other people that they need to watch. Spirit. And, uh, and I think uh, for me, the, the main thing is, you know, I was also in the film industry before, but I left. And uh, one thing is that I want, I want to come back as an investor. So, if, for example, if you are given money, you're saying Anish, one of the challenges is money. So, if you are given money now, so what 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 do you do that will make the film much better? Is it better cast? Is it? And then how again will I get back the money? Many people have, have talked, they have money to invest, but how do they get them back? You know, that's an, another major issue. So even if you're saying that you need money for, for the project, um, how, how, how will I get it back as, as, as someone who is investing in the film? And then first of all, you're very big. Uh, the last thing is the uh, inspiration. I had a film and uh, I did not get money, so I did not do it. So I, I appreciate you uh, having, that, uh, having gone this far. There's a question, you, you'll have to answer this question um, if he gives you a ton of money. Let's start with that before we go uh, very far. If you're given tons of money, um, what would you do different and how is he guaranteed as an investor to get his money? Budget does not, does 
not affect creativity, it only affects presentation, as you have seen there. All right, we need to give a round of applause to El Sapan's dad. He's over here today. Just stand up and wave to the people. Just stand up and wave to everybody so they can know. You didn't come with your dad, so you better applause. Is it okay? give a round of applause. Tony's father's here. Yeah. Mr. Carlos himself. Please stand and give away the right man. The right man for everybody. Actually, a lot of our parents are here. Just, so let's all recognize them. At the same oh, all the parents in the house. Oh, and your child did something. because there's no one that has ever been found to replace it, to think outside the box. And we were advised not to use realism, which is the beginning, the middle, and the end, like we typically know. The different styles of art, if you look around, you'll see some of the stuff that people are painting, you're like, it doesn't make sense. It's a style that they have invoked in you. They want to invoke your emotion. They don't want to tell a story straightforward the way everybody tells it. There's another style. The different styles, I can't remember, it's been six years. But there's one, if I remember, that's called existentialism, where it's all about what you feel and how you want the people to feel about it and the different emotions you want to evoke. So maybe that's just to answer in my two cents. 
to answer to those people who don't understand why the film does not have a straight path. It's because it was on purpose. And because they wanted to invoke this kind of emotion in you. And because, as they said, they just wanted to be creative. To be creative. There's this saying, art is to you and me. There's no right or wrong. There's only different. That said, we have so many people who are in River Road who have handicaps and are doing straight stories but are shooting pornography. We have so many people who would like a chance to have a bunch of people come and premiere the movie and salute them, but they don't have the necessary esteem or, you know, whatever to do it. But right here in front of you are a bunch of people who took guts and dared to be different. And I think for that, we all need to stand up and give them a round of applause. Thank you so much. See, there goes little Anne again, still staring at the mannequins, going up the street and back again, staring across the glass window pane. Her thoughts on the price tag, it might as well be in another planet. In. She knows everything about the cost, nothing about the value. That's why she starts to argue every time my dude says he wishes, damn, I wish I had you. But the sad truth is, she really wishes she got hit by Cupid. That's why she's walking around saying, love is stupid. That's why she's lying to Tom and looking the dude that drives a Harrier. Because some dude heart a heart and the heart formed around his car as a barrier. The coco got a book with the quad, you know, so I keep the coco the choice, the car bad day of the box. So I did this car your story. At the beauty of a kid, I see put go about a pack of police or a department and the acre behind your bars, can you move? But a beer or chica, tassing out of the truss station or dance a quack of her. I think that this is a funny regret to be sent a weary and old picker at Kidia Kirika Jire. Bobby Ben, the heart, I would be enough for a year, Kira said. That's how they are scared for his story and for the car of the event, but he buys it at the car of the Oxford and the car of the set. That's how they talk to the Perakir by Jesus, your father, to the Perakir of his first week. Ah, I did attack a jumping car of the Dida Harare. Your mother had done it out of an open car, Jeraha, like a salary. You don't send it to the guy of you to a bunch of money as a market. I thought you had a poor child, you saw it.
you some of the greatest rockers that I have ever rocked with in my career. So here. Um, it's a uh, audio and um, the editing. I mean that you know it was a bit off, uh, but all in all, amazing film. I mean especially the main actor, awesome, awesome performance. Yeah, so it was fantastic, and um, and I I'm kind of looking forward to you know to I mean to the other one. Apparently, um, the director said, or rather the producer and the writer said that you know they're working on something else. 
I like Spilled because it actually tells the a Kenyan story in real life. You know, uh, most people try to make stories have a happy ending, but that's not how usually most stories end. So I like the way it was realistic. It made it made sense. You could actually identify with um, with the characters because you can you can actually imagine like being broke and having to walk home. Um, it was a difficult role to play, though it was exciting because uh, it was sad. He was a sad guy, uh, but had had a glimmer of hope. So, as an actor, I can say that was not the easiest easiest role. Uh, like people will say, oh, it's a good job, it's a good job. A lot had to grow into, into it. Yeah, there are some scenes I wasn't very happy with, but I like the finished product. The editor has made me look good. <laughs> for it being a short film and having so much emotion, uh, for it to be to have uh, a screening at the Bogov, thank you Bogov, uh, a screening at the Bogov, and for it to have a crowd, crowd funding. One, it has made history, two, it's making an impact. And um, it's just going to, and, and what that will, uh, what that, the ripple effect for that is, more people will want to make movies, and not just movies, but quality. And I want to thank everyone who com made a comment, or positive criticism, because I think they're all positive. Um, look out, watch out for this. Uh, initially, the book began as an opportunity for the founder, Jacob Leclerc, to, uh, to expose his artwork. So we've been in a wrap together, and we're looking for ways to get an audience. But after a while, we realized this platform could not just be for us. We want to share the platform. And also, trying to create content that can fill a platform for like two hours is rather hard. Especially if you're doing it every two months. So the idea grew from there and began getting other people on board. We've got poets, we've got rappers, we've got guys who do, do art, come on board. Now, through the run of the event, we hardly perform nowadays. We get people to perform, we get people to come together, perform, and expose their arts. Well, you can, so you can Originally, the idea had been for us to perform at the, at the event, mm -hmm. but over time, it has become something for other artists. And our idea now is just to be able to elevate. Uh, to a higher platform. Hence, the, the, the title of the event, the Bob Hope, stands for being only part of finance. So the idea is to get artists to exemplify that and get them to expose their talent. Yeah. Um, in five years, hopefully, as things go along, in five years, we'll have a caravan to be able to have a Bob in every town. A book of in Nairobi, Mombasa, Kisumu, Naivasha, Doris, in every major town in Kenya. Then, in due time, we'll be able to make records of the book, of, whereby instead of just focusing on one event, on one aspect of art, we'll be able to have records where guys are able to learn how to turn their art into a profitable activity. We would like to bring in foreign arts, not really localized to Kenyan art, but the idea is to bring out Kenyan art to a level whereby, if we were talking international exposure, we would like to see Kenyan artists exported. See Kenyan talent exported. We would like to import talent, however, there's so much talent in Kenya that's all been tapped. So get, if we get an opportunity to expose this talent and have it prosper across the continent, guys, you need to get recognition from Kenya, we start off as a, as a performer at the bubble. In a couple of months, performing on a higher level, even if you are through the bubble, you'll be afraid to see you prosper and see artists become bigger from within than to bring artists from without to take positions that well, there's a lot of talent to them. Yes. And an entrance fee is always charged so as to be able to keep it viable because we need to get to get the space, to get equipment. So out of that, it's necessary for us to charge to be able to cover the cost of cost of just trying the event because from at this juncture we are not able to pay artists so we don't pay artists and what we do that's we let them know as much what we give artists is promotion so from a PR aspect you're able to get your event you can perform you can get a, a better audience then apart from that as one of the followers particip participated in a bog of we assist you by doing a PR for you if you, not, if you have another show in the approach the bog of team we'll be able to do publicity for you because out of goodwill it's a matter of it's not really a quick pro quo, but a matter of helping the artist grow. We give you a platform, we give you a chance to be able to expose the art to a higher, to a very broad audience. We have a mix. We have a mix of artists. We have had some, some more, more renowned artists. 
to have newcomers, first time performers coming to the bog of. So the idea is that if you you exemplify the you exemplify what you're looking for, being only better finance, if you go out of your way to, to build a brand, to do quality work, we'd like to have you on board. So that's how we work with the artists, that's how you approach artists, that's the pitch you give the artists. So as an artist, the first time up, what we'll give you is a platform. As a person who has been in the industry for a while, to will give you another chance to expose your work. It's a matter of a platform, really, for, for an artist. Because it doesn't really matter how good you are, how, how renowned you are, if you don't have a platform, you're not really going anywhere in a hurry. So, if an artist wants to perform, yeah. what's the protocol? What's the principle? The procedure, you could see any member of the Bog of Team. We have artist relations fellows, but you could see any member of the Bog of Team. Give them your work, tell them why you're going to perform, you could come and watch you. And after they've watched you, you could come and perform at the Bog of You could give us your work, our link to your music. Look at it and we'll adv advise you to do it Thank you very much for your time.